peace love and light this message is for scorpio scorpio's checking to see what's in your energy let's get into your messages okay i'm seeing a community of some sort someone reaching out someone mm, it may be I'm seeing this is an earth mother or this may be someone of an earth sign uh, that's calling out to a community of some sort earth mother earth energy uh, sending vibrations this is almost like telepathy kind of energy um, someone sending it's it's like Someone sending their thoughts and, and wherever they're sending it, um, people can actually hear, okay? People can actually hear and, and um, understand what message is being sent. It's in regards to something that is needed. Um, like a call to action of some sort. Mm -hmm. Some someone calling to action, calling for hands to come together to respond to something. Uh, this is a gathering, a coming together, coming together. Uh, something having to do with moon cycles. Okay. I'm saying there's something that might be significant about this King of Pentacles. Um, someone's calling for some kind of like healing progress moving forward mm, this is the earth mother yep the earth mother and this is it's showing up as like that's exactly like it it's showing up as the earth mother and this is what i'm getting is like the earth mother is calling to action um, is calling something into action, is calling something having to do with healing and progress, dealing with the King of Pentacles, because look at this, it's like, yeah, it's like uh, the Earth Mother is asking a community, a group of people um, to come together regarding something. It's like some someone is wanting uh it's wanting a group of people to develop some willpower to develop their willpower to bring forth some kind of action it's like a call to action of some sort that's showing up some sort of a call to action certain call to action I suppose call to action <laughs> it's almost like uh, this earth mother's reaching reaching out like this reaching out I'm seeing it's through like it's through some sort of like energy it's like an energetic um, it's an energetic pull if you will like you it's almost like someone's tugging at something trying to 
tell them something and you see this page of cups is like okay I'm receiving the message and the message is specifically for um, a community and it may be for specifically a soul tribe or soul tribes um, there's something that the, the the earth mother wants the soul tribes to come together um, this is a call to action. I'm hearing the soul tribe. The earth mother wants the soul tribes to come together. See this energy of culmination in the ten of in the king of pentacles. Um, it's it's an energy of progress that the divine is wanting. It's it's progress. Progress here. The earth mother wants the soul tribes to come together because there's some sort of progress that that she requires that she needs in regards to um hmm. this has to do with manifestation this has to do with um reciprocity some something about reciprocity this has to do with an energy of like peace um this has to deal with victory. The Earth Mother is wanting the soul tribes to come together because uh, there's some some energy that the Earth Mother is asking in regards to like um, her children having victory, having new beginnings, manifesting, see an energy of coming together. She wants <clears throat> she wants you to tune into your gifts um, tune into your visions focus on your visions um, there's something that she's wanting to ha happen as it relates to her soul tribe her children she wants them to come together in victory. She wants them to have victory. This is an energy of victory. This is victory. Harmony. She's trying to say something about victory, harmony. It's like an energy of happiness showing up that she's wanting. This is a coming together. This is also success. Success, happiness, new beginnings. Um, she wants them to have their power back. I'm seeing that the soul tribes, um, the Divine Mother is saying that the soul tribes have been dispersed for quite some time. Um, through force, through magic, spiritual manipulation. Mm -hmm, there's a lot that's been done to... Uh, disperse and divide the soul tribes and the the, the earth mother is saying that this, this is why the soul tribes have been divided you've been divided because um, you've been divided because this is a strategy of battle okay You've been divided because this is a strategy of battle. This has always been a strategy of battle. Um, this strategy has caused you to um, to not be as strong as you would be or you could be. 
Um, you've had to fight harder. You've had to do many things individually on your own. You've developed, you know, this energy of this Queen of Swords, like, you know, having this ability to strategize and, you know, you're capable of, you know, coming up with a plan and assuring that the plan actually comes together. And the Earth Mother is saying two swords are better than one. <coughs> two swords are better than one, Ashe. It's a gathering. It's an energy of gathering. Um, it's like a... It's like... I keep getting a call to action. See, it's like... It's like the ones that were dispersed, the children of the Earth Mother, okay, are being asked to return to, like, return <laughs> to gather, return to their ways, return to their roots, return to... Return to base return to okay and this king of cups represents like you know emotional stability togetherness um a heightened sense of intuition i'm getting that it's like your gifts are also more powerful when you come together the gathering of the soul tribes has more to do with like strengthening you and you'll see that the soul tribes coming together is is has reasons more powerful than you can imagine and i see king of swords it's an energy of truth showing up <laughs> see that it's like this energy of like strengthening and and light lightening uh releasing some of the burdens this is why the the this is a call to action from the earth mother she requires that soul tribes come together and for now i'm seeing i'm seeing that this has to do with regaining your strength regaining your power uh your manifesting power there's something about the gathering of the soul tribes has a lot to do with your manifesting power and being that this is year eight um the earth mother is putting out a call to action that the gathering is going to release your burdens it's going to um strengthen you emotionally it's going to strengthen your intuition uh this is all about strength it's, it's all about strength. And the divine is also saying the gathering of the soul tribe is about preventing loss in terms of your finances. Because the empress, you know, the empress is about emotional stability. And I'm seeing that there's a lot of spiritual attacks as it relates to the chosen um, to lose momentum. And in losing momentum, some of you... Uh, you may lose momentum to manifest what you will because of lack of financial backing. And many of you may find that a lot of ideas are coming. And it's like uh, I'm hearing that the ideas are not lacking. Okay. You have enough ideas to bring you the, to victory. You do. And what seems to be a challenge is that, you know, those who have tried to keep you in a position of lack have manipulated things in such a way where you experience financial lack and this is what could potentially lead to um you not achieving your goal and 
the divine is saying that the coming together of the soul tribe is meant to prevent loss. It's meant to uh, prevent financial loss. It's meant to keep you in this spirit of abundance. Okay. It's meant to keep you in the spirit of abundance. It's meant to keep the fire going. It's meant to literally, you know, bring the noise, you know, to to keep you awakened to your purpose. Because um, I'm seeing that the divine is saying that many of you can get very, um, you can lose faith. All right. Many of you can lose faith as a result of. Um, you know, past behaviors, worrying about a lot of different things, especially having to do with finances, you know, stressing about it. And it's like this becomes your main focus. It, it's, it's an illusion that's been created to keep you focused on worrying about money, finances. There's an illusion that's been created to keep you that way. And the calling together of the soul tribes, there's something significant about that. This is part of how you deal with like these psychic attacks, these things that are being sent to you energetically to keep you stuck, to keep you feeling, you know, stagnant. This is an energy of being stuck. Page of Swords, you're learning. There's there's a lot that you're learning you know, you're learning about the sharing of things, the sharing of beliefs, the sharing of a space. And many of you are learning about the sharing of love and finances. This is all soul tribe energy. And I'm hearing the divine saying that like there's an energy that comes with being part of a soul tribe that makes that makes the soul tribe powerful. Okay, that this is what makes the soul tribe powerful and make them able to move forward in year eight. Okay. Because there there's a lot more that the divine is saying that that's coming that unless the soul tribe comes together, they will not be able to deal with the stuff that's coming. There's a lot more coming. Yep. You being able to move forward in terms of what is coming. And I'm seeing this energy of the five of wands, conflict, arguments, you know, struggle. Like unless you gather together energetically, um, you're going to be stuck, stagnant. And the fortune that you are meant to experience in year eight, the, you can forget it. All right. Major opportunities are coming for you to come together. See, there's the soul tribe again. Okay. Let go of whatever it is that, you know, makes you hesitant. Hmm. So there's a lot more coming. And this is why the divine is saying it's time for you to come together. Give us a word of wisdom regarding this reading. Word of wisdom. Mm-hmm. That's the Emperor energy. The Patriarch. Unapologetic. Okay. You will achieve what you have set out to do. The Patriarch steps, steps up to remind you that you are the healer. The leader, hmm, it said leader, but I read healer. All right, <laughs> of your own life. Things are more stable and secure than you think. Your fears are lying to you. You have the wisdom that the spirit, 
that the situation requires. This ancestor may also come forward when the author authoritative energy around you is overpowering you. My dear one, stand up straight and own your power. The patriarch shows up here as a Maasai elder chief. The patriarch is a calm, experienced, ambitious leader with loving and supportive divine masculine energy. This paternal ancestor can be seen as assertive, aggressive, depending on the viewpoint. Uh, the medicine. Act as if you are regal. Act as if you're powerful. Act as if you're wise. This is a different frequency than fake it till you make it. You have no need to fake anything. Your arteries and bones remember your royalty in your DNA. Um, this is corresponding to the emperor. The declaration is, I owe no apology for walking in my power. So I'm also seeing that the divine is saying that um, you coming together with your soul tribe is going to allow you to walk in, a, in, in your power in a much different way. Um, uh, you're going to assume, for many of you are going to assume um, an energy position of leadership, power, authority. And this is also being shown in this King of Swords, Queen of Swords energy. Like you're assuming your authority and your power, okay, as a member of this soul tribe. Okay. Uh, Padma Sundari, out of darkness there is light. And that's so funny how like this just came and the way it came, it's, it's like it rose. And I'm seeing that the divine is saying you're rising to power. All right. This is why uh, this is the role. This is why you need a soul tribe. And this is the role that a soul tribe will play. Okay. The light is powerful enough to survive exposure to the darker side of humanity and remain pure, empowered, and effective. Trust in your spiritual purpose as a light in this world. Trust particularly in your ability to bring purity, order, grace, and light to disorder, chaos, and destruction. The divine is ever by your side and ever within your heart, assisting you with lighter, with higher purpose in all ways. All issues can be healed through the unlimited resource and creative resourcefulness of the divine. You are destined to be part of a creative solution for issues you have in your life or that exists in the world and touches your heart. A problem only exists so that divine genius can resolve it. Struggles are sometimes the best way for us to learn something we need to understand for our life journey. Trust that when you ask for help, even apparently impossible situations can be turned around. With willing human engagement and divine grace, there is more than enough light, healing, creative innovation, wisdom, and energy available to keep Mother Earth and all her creatures, including humanity, thriving. Never give up your hope and trust in what is possible, nor your willingness to act upon that hope and trust. Um, the energy that's coming from here is that there's a role that the, the soul tribe plays in you rising to power. And the divine is saying that, you know, to not underestimate or, or yeah, not underestimate the role that the soul tribe plays in, in, you know, a healing frequency and being able to hold you in the time when you need it the most. And I'm seeing that there is going to come a time, there's going to be periods of struggle, okay, that may be even more detrimental than you've experienced previously. And many of you know that there are promises that's been made to you by your spiritual team that are going to be kept. And the coming together of the soul tribe is supposed to provide like an energetic shield um, of protection and it's going to provide all sorts of protection i'm seeing it's providing psychic protection against psychic attacks i'm seeing it's providing protection against um you know financial lack because the chosen have been attacked in that sense uh because those who insist on you know causing chaos and confusion one of the ways that they try to prevent the chosen from gaining power 
is through control of finances and resources and the the chosen are regaining control of that realm okay and part of the way that they're regaining control is that those who have consistently tried to bring the chosen to a downfall they are falling okay and it's time that the chosen reassume their place their rightful place their rightful place as a powerful um as a powerful force all right and this is the word that the divine if this message resonates please like comment share and subscribe until next time love peace and divine light